We're on Tainted Cane. It had to happen at some point. Don't even think about it, just send it. Boss Rush, Hush. Oh, I, dude, I haven't done Alt Path in a long, long time. <laughs> I haven't done Alt Path in forever. Let's not worry about the Eddie Room. Because an Eddie Room is... Uh... Yoink. Just going to give us an item that is just going to become consumables. Okay, I don't mind an early kidney stone. I, I do have to point out, maybe you thought like I, I sit around um, and the reason like I haven't played Tainted Cane is because I've been busy like looking up recipes that make for the best of Tainted Cane. Um, it's it decidedly highly false. I'm still winging it. There may be some situations where I ask for a little feedback. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty happy to have gotten Kidney Stone right off the bat, which is something, you know, I'll take things you wouldn't have uh, said before repentance for a million dollars, Alex. What a, what a kill. I'm going to die. I just had miso ramen for the first time. Delicious. You know, one of the things uh, that the pandemic has stolen from me is uh, eating good ramen. You can get it delivered, but it doesn't deliver very well. I receive Eddie, you receive Eddie Poghead. But, but Dan, it's Tainted Cane. When you get Godhead, you don't actually get Godhead. You, uh, you just get a, a confluence of... Uh, consumables that you could craft into something. I'm sure you can craft Godhead, but I don't even know what it looks like. You get it? What do you, what do you mean? Okay, hold on. This is potentially pretty solid, maybe? Give me a key in here. That's not very good at all. Um, coin for heart. That's, that's good enough to take. Forget the alt path for now, though. Let's boss rush hush. Just a fake ending. Oh my god. This is hell, man. <laughs> but yeah, the, the pandemic kind of took... Uh, it took good ramen. You can get it delivered, but it, it's never the same, right? Like, it's always a little cooler than it should be, or, like, the noodles are a little soggier than they should be, or the broth isn't hot enough to cook the noodles after you get them, so then, like, the noodles come out being uh, a little bit too al dente. It really is a... Good ramen is, like, the... It's, it's a food that doesn't deliver super well. So I haven't had good ramen in, in quite some time. But it'll be on the list. Also, might I say, kind of a good meal to be able to take a baby to. Obviously, you got to be careful. Like, there's hot liquids and stuff like that. But uh, eating ramen at a restaurant is, like, one of the fastest... How did that thread the needle? One of the fastest meals in terms of how long it takes to get served and then how long it takes to eat. Not that good. I can I if I'm being honest, I just don't want to. <laughs> that one just struck me as uh, I don't I don't want to have to deal with the D20 here. Give me the poop though. Reasonable take, yeah, dude. Honestly, like. I, you know the, how many takes I've had to endure in this chat where people are like, some mornings I just don't feel like brushing my teeth, so I don't. The D20 on an already, like, you know, scuffed character. You gotta build in some tolerance for that. You know, if you're gonna be like, I got an excuse to not brush my teeth when, when I don't want to. Then you gotta let me not, uh... Not take the D20 in some situations. What most situations, really. Do we still... I think we still have to do greedier as this guy, too. Um... 
Okay, put it put a spirit heart in here. It's not quite good enough. Not quite good enough. It's the thinking man's endeavor here. Greedier as tainted cane is literally free. Okay, good to know. Good to know. He starts with a key. Coin for red hard. I don't even know what you are. Are you the super scream? You... Esau Jr. Oh no, dude. <laughs> Does this create what I think it creates? It's also the save corruptor. Oh, good news. Don't use it. It corrupts your save. Is there any kind of like... Um, and the answer might be no. Any kind of specificity on that? Like, is there when used in conjunction with something breaks your save? Or is it just... If you, if you use it as Esau, it breaks your save. Okay. I'm still probably not gonna use it. Also, my bag was just swinging non-stop there. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> You can use it twice and then never again. Let's, it, I mean, I saw someone in chat say it allows you to become a uh, tainted Lazarus, which is, uh, if, if it's a joke, is a great joke. If it's not a joke, is actually the lowest possible reward you could get from uh, from an item. It, it might actually be a punishment. So, right now, anyway, here's what I'll say. Nobody's going, it's awesome, use it immediately, and that tells me everything I need to know. Because this is, you gotta remember, with the Isaac community is like, oh, you skipped poop, that's a, a run winning item. Curse of the Tower, it's good now, Kappa Face. Nice try. One more kidney stone, man. That's all we need, one more kidney stone. Nice try. <laughs> Oh, one more kidney stone. Just a, a wafer-thin kidney stone. Just the ability to deal damage to the boss. There we go. There we go. Please, please, please. Uh, I wish this were real, but it isn't. Looks... Markedly similar to our, our last payout, but I'll take it. You got to be careful about taking too much HP, but too much is definitely not a three. Give me that. Give me that. I forgot to mention, I, I need to talk to Mouth, because like a couple of weeks ago, he tweeted year one is not a masterpiece, but it's a little funny. And uh, I wanted to say, actually it's garbage. I saw it in uh, 2009 on DVD. My dad rented it from Jumbo Video. It's not a good movie. Um, I, I see it almost... It's like Monty Python's The Life of Brian, but if it were made by uh, Happy Madison instead of Monty Python. You know, let's give this a try. So, I, uh, I watched it again last night. Really because I just, I was so tired and I was like, uh, what am I going to do? Like, I, 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 I managed to get all the work done that... I, oh, it's Kidney Stone that's doing that, I see. I managed to get all the work done that needed to be done. And I said to myself, let's watch something mindless. I laughed three times, and I watched the whole movie. That's, that's all I got to say about it. I also hate to say it, but I feel like a... 
I feel like David Cross is not uh, a great comic actor. I think he's a funny guy, but I do not think he's a, a, a an entertaining comic actor. Okay, you know what? I, I, I must admit, I completely forgot Arrested Development actually existed and Mr. Show. But hey, sketch comedy is a little different. Let's just craft this so that we can get rid of the item that might ruin our game. I always make these, but you know what? At least it's something. Suck that up in there. I got nothing against David Cross. I've also never met him, which is worth noting. And I, I you know, in the mid-2000s, as a disaffected... Uh, you know, 16-year-old in the middle of the Bush administration, despite living in Canada. I, you know, he was like a comedy hero, for sure. The movie is a, a star-studded cast, too. Like, it's almost comical. Paul Rudd, Michael Sarah, Jack Black, Harold Ramis, David Cross, Bill Hader, Oliver Platt. I think it is Richard Grant. Who's Richard Grant? Oh, he's from uh, With Nail and I. What's that? Uh, uh, he, he, he played classic Loki in in Loki episode five. My hero. Knife, 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 knife. What are you talking about, Cleaver? Are you talking about? Mom's knife? It's not a knife so much as a cleaver. By the way, a, a lot of my... Um, a lot of my uh, life on this platform has been... Uh, saying things that I believed in when I said them, and then walking them back for like a decade afterwards. This is another example. Um, when I had Josh on the show recently, seven or eight years ago, um, we were talking about what knives you use when you're chopping stuff. I'm ashamed to say... I'm going to pick these up and make it better. That I said I was going... My predominant way of using the knives was exclusively to use a knife I call Big Chopper to chop everything. It's like a... a a dicing style knife with a long blade and a long handle. And I, uh... I said I used it to chop carrots, vegetables, meats, etc, etc. Why not? I would like to say I'm ashamed of my words and my deeds. As I've been cooking more and more, uh, and we've been using our dishwasher much more effectively, because um, we're washing so much baby stuff daily. I, let's try to protect it, have been using Big Chopper for chopping, like, you know, tough, fibrous vegetables. I have been using a smaller chopper for, you know, chiffonating herbs and stuff like that. I've been using uh, the the long knife for slicing meats when it's more relevant to use that instead of the big chopper. And it's actually, it, I mean, it's not the sort of thing I would say is going to change your life. But it has absolutely made the, the cooking process that much more interesting to not, like, mince a bunch of garlic. And then use that same knife to, like, try to cut up, like, some spinach right after. Just giving it a little rinse under the sink. I'm not saying it'll... It, it just feels better. We, oh, yeah, right. You can't get items anyway. Lucky. Yeah, I would say... Yeah, don't... This... Using multiple knives. Guaranteed to make you explode. Don't... 
Chefs don't want you to know this one secret. Don't tell your spouse. It's okay. Finger will finish this off. I also have to say, this if you thought the, the last one was, uh, was a wild take, this one's going to drive you crazy. I also think minced garlic heavily overrated. Instead of mincing garlic in a lot of recipes lately, I've been instead taking the garlic and thinly slicing it. Like really, really thinly slicing it. I prefer it. I'm not saying it's better. All I'm saying is I prefer it. Do it. Do it. Yeah, then it like, it cooks in the pan. It gets soft. I know that this doesn't give us anything, but I'm like desperate for nothing, I guess. Yeah, it, it's exactly the Goodfellas technique. I slice it up real thin with a razor blade. Bro, we are not making... <laughs> we are not making boss rush or hush. We gotta try to speed it up. We can maybe make hush. Boss rush would be a stretch. I think cleaver plus finger is kind of, I mean, it's an okay synergy, but um, not okay enough. Honestly, this is, just kill me. Yeah, I'm ready, I'm ready to start another one up here. This is, uh, that one was kind of going nowhere. But I'm a, I'm a fan of the, the thinly sliced garlic instead. I have a simple one run, five item crafting recipe. Is there a way that we could do this? Like, perhaps you could tweet it to me? Because it being in chat is just going to be um, despair. If you, if you tweet it to me, I will look at it. Just make Sacred Heart. Did you just tweet me the recipe for Sacred Heart? Then? I don't know how to make it. Is it like you're asking me to make like a scallop wellington or something like that? I don't know how to... I don't know how to make it. I need a, a series of step-by-step -step instructions. Sent. Okay. We finish this room, I will go take a look at that. Most tweets to one person in a single day about to be set. No, honestly, like, I, um, I'm actually blessed. First off, I've muted a lot of people. Um, and I'm, I'm never shy about sharing that fact. Because, honestly, like, for a long time I felt a little guilty. Like, oh, this person's, like, a big fan. Even though they're tweeting me some weird stuff. Like, I feel like I'm a, a jerk for muting them. And then, like... Honestly, over time, I was just like, this is the third time I've, like, seen your username and you posted some weirdo stuff. And, like, you're kind of having a demonstrable negative effect on my day. So, I... Yes, I muted you. Okay, sorry, hold on. Let's let's look at this. But the other thing is, I get tweeted very, very little. Relative to some other streamers. Like, whenever... Uh, even Apollo now, because of, like, the dumb dog twit among us social crossover with the Stan Twitters. I know that sentence sounds like it doesn't make sense, but it's kind of coherent. Um, anytime he tweets anything, it gets like 500 likes, even if it's just like, uh, hello. And I think I would hate that. I think I would, I would actually probably private my account. Because I'd be like, I don't deserve that. Now, when I make an awesome tweet and it gets no attention, I'm also like, I don't deserve that either. But uh, when I say like, hey, how are you doing? And then people are like, oh my god, it's the funniest thing I've ever seen. Bark, bark, woof, 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 rawr, <laughs> I think I think I would... I, I might delete my account. Okay. Eight coins for the first portable slot machine. Find the secret room. Use second eight coins to spawn a bone heart inside the secret room. 
Rock Bottom is one Bone Heart, four Pennies, three Keys. Red Stew is six Pennies, one Key, one Bomb. Monstro's Lung is one Penny, six Keys, one, six keys, one Bomb, or four Red Hearts, two Pennies, one Bomb, one Pill. Soy Milk is five Red Hearts, three Bombs. Okay, so you craft Rock Bottom with the Bone Heart. Once you get to the Bone Heart, wait, you craft, you find the secret room, you get, okay, I understand. Portable Slot lets you spawn a Bone Heart in the secret room. You can use that to create rock bottom. Once you get rock bottom, the top steps are no longer that useful. Red stew, soy milk, and monstro's lung. Red stew for damage, soy milk for tears. Mon I don't know what monstro's lung is for, just more shots, I guess, maybe? That, that is a cl that's clever. Eight coins for first portable slot. Okay, that's, that's incredible intel. Also a great, like, uh, a totoso. For all the people who are like, win, and then I'm like, how? And they're like, you won't read it anyway, so I'm not gonna type it. Put that in your pipe and smoke it. Bring that back to ninth grade homeroom class. See how they, here's what they think about you. And then pick up the nickel to use on portable slot. Hold on, okay, we, we got a good start here. Find secret room. Is a weird floor for it. Could be low. Could be there. Could be... Here. Super secret works as well. Okay, hold on. Super secret should be here. It's alright. I mean, we can always kickstart this on the next floor as well. Oh, you need to make a port the first portable slot so the second one drops consumables. It'll always drop a bone heart. I understand. Okay. So we can all we can just make our first portable slot right now. This makes sense. I like this flowchart. I will say Tainted Kane is a character, like, at some point if I ever do. Um, streaks or at least random like all character runs we're gonna have to learn how to play him a little bit more reliably there is I, I have reached the point I'm having an awesome time with repentance I do resent some of the characters I, and like them existing at all um, one of them is Tainted Kane, and it's not really we, this is actually pretty sick um it's it's mostly just sour grapes for Tainted Cain that the barrier to entry is quite high. Um, Tainted Lazarus is a total slog. And yes, the, the plan is that they're going to fix it at some point, but it ain't fixed yet. So uh, I'm not going to give him too much credit for that one until it actually comes out. Um, Tainted Jacob is okay. Tainted Eden is also a slog. <laughs> those those are my uh that's my option right now that that's my opinion i should say i was i have to you know what i'm gonna try something here i think that all hearts equals yum heart which i don't like so let's clear out whatever we've got here hope it's not a space bar item so that we don't lose portable slot. If we do, we can just remake it. Okay, that's pretty much exactly what I wanted. Then we need eight more coins anyway. All right, that's fine. Yeah, Tainted Eden, man, it's just a... It's just a slog. Hold on, I'm just thinking, I'm looking at my cheat sheet. Second portable slot inside the second secret room gives you a bone heart. I shouldn't feel bad. I saw Dan's donation machine get to zero today. It's a, a, a landmark moment. Then people... people I, look, I get it. You stay in the streamer you like to watch. I'm not even trying to... I'm not even trying to disrespect. But when I was like, why is your donation machine at zero? 
Right? I didn't even say why. I just said donation machine at zero F. People said he had to do it in order to use the, uh, in order to use the D twenty on the coins. And I was like, I think we got different definitions of had in that situation. Did he have to, or to to win the run, or did he have to? Uh, in the sense that he wanted to have another 16 hour long run, even if it cost them everything. Because need is a word I, I, I try to reserve for specific usage. Okay, very interesting room. Okay. Get out of here, I need space. This should make a bone heart. Very nice, very nice. One bone heart, four pennies, three keys. One bone heart, four pennies, three keys. F, F. Justice, a bunch of stone chests, man. Or a uh, uh, golden chest, I don't mind that. Four pennies, three keys. We just need two more keys. Another bone heart? Maybe there's a key on the shop? We could make a second rock bottom. <laughs> we might, by the way, need the Mama Mega. We'll buy this, see if it gives us a key. It didn't, but it gave us a lot. Um, buy this, it could give us a key. It did. It did give us a key. So that's rock bottom. That's pretty huge. Red stew is six pennies, a key, and a bomb. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, <laughs> that's a good recipe. That's a good recipe. So that's a permanent damage upgrade because of the way rock bottom works. Six pennies, one key, one bomb. Oh, man. Six pennies, one key, one bomb. You love to see it. We should definitely try to do... Um, tainted Path. It's probably the hardest thing to do. We can repeat this over and over for Tainted Cane. That's incredible. You know what? It, it, hold on. This is... I wish you could put notes with VIP, but this is a given VIP. VIP Degenerator. Welcome, welcome to the VIP list. There's also a strength card. That's true. We don't give those out too often. VIP strats all over the place. That's why I need the notes, man. That's why I need the notes. <laughs> Forget Hagalaz. Nobody cares. Um, soy milk, five red hearts, three bombs. That's so easy. We need one bomb. Oh my god. Oh, but if we buy it, it'll... Okay, I see. Alright, so we just need a bomb and then we get soy milk. Two bombs, two bombs, two bombs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Math, math. Haha, <laughs> math. Um, we can go to the all path on the next floor. Oh, but there's a, there's a golden key. There's a golden key. I would much rather spend like uh, 15 minutes on the first floor. I guess, and this is only with the value of hindsight, but I would much rather spend 15 minutes on the first floor than just be like mid-anecdote about how to slice garlic and then just people spamming in chat like with no context at all. You know, key, key, rock bottom, knife, knife, knife. Okay, take me down. That's, that's the salt for now. Okay. I tweeted you Mama Mega Recipe. Now that's the ticket, man. That's the ticket. 
Maybe we'll make our key on this one at the end, too. That's uh, two bombs. Looks like a huge. Leave all consumables on the ground for now. Why not? Two bombs! There's one. Leave all consumables on the ground. Except sacks, which you need to see what they got. Bum, bum. That's soy milk, baby. Next would be Monstro's Lung. One penny, six keys, one bomb. Or four red hearts, two pennies, one bomb, one, one pill. I think, I think one penny, six keys, one bomb. Six keys is a little tricky, but... Those are just the easiest ones. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Close one. Dude, I'm taking it. You know why? Could give us the consumables we're looking for. One bomb. Okay, so we need three more keys. That's it. Just three more keys. Give me the HP and free my soul. Dude, if I could just commit those... I don't know, does a golden key count as a regular key? If I could commit those six recipes to memory... Who knows? It does not count. Okay. That is, is great intel. Keys? No keys, but alabaster box could be keys. There is a key. Two more keys. Yeah, I'm like, this This is the run where you just need to get our key at the very end. Or, or honestly, right now. <laughs> it would also be fine. <laughs> so, I, I will let you know. Following this, I know you're going to be like, oh, we're almost done here, huh? Well, at that point, we pretty much just got to take everything that's on the ground. You're going to still suggest items after this. I'm here to tell you, it's not. we're not going to pay attention to it. So I'm, I'm giving you notice in advance. That it is not going to... Uh, it's not gonna play a role in my psyche. We will we'll be operating on just the wind mechanic once we leave this floor. Only our key. Because otherwise you could spend the rest of your life just trying to like make the perfect run. We're really not trying to make the perfect run. We're actually trying to make the run that gets out of here fastest. Key? Key. Key. Just the key, please. Key. Slot machine to get keys. So true. So true. So true. So true. Homicidal phone. Thanks for the uh, gifted subscriptions. Thank you. Key. Can I get a key? Can I get a key? Well, okay. Um, I think I'm probably gonna leave. One key and the dream is complete. You already know what's gonna happen. We're gonna walk into our next floor. We're gonna get it immediately. Take me out. Probably as soon as we beat the boss in four seconds, we will... Uh, Pick up their item and get a key out of the item. I think why not? We're not going to use portable slot that much. Oh, right. It doesn't matter. <laughs> I forgot. It doesn't matter at all. Okay. Well, anyway, you're extremely... Look at that DPS. That's why I'm not going to sweat many more items after this. Give me my key. 
thank you. <laughs> it's a golden key, dude. Oh, Ben. How are you gonna let Jake Paul do you like that, man? Oh, yeah. We're, we're gonna need... Uh, key? We're gonna need... Um, Mama Mega. Do we need two to access Pog? Oh my god. That's incredible. We need the knife piece as well, yeah. Well, wait, we, uh, it, let, let's figure out what we want to do on the first run. Yeah, okay, on the first run, let's do Alt Path. And then does our key allow us to do Boss Rush and Hush on the... On the flip side? Yes, 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 no, 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 yes, yes. <laughs> Yes, with Mama Mega? Well, yeah, obviously. Okay, what what's the R key recipe? R key recipe tainted cane. Dun donkey, donkey. Give it a sec. I'm, I'm looking it up on the subreddit. It's the fastest place to do it. Crafting recipe mega compilation. R key. Seven bone hearts and a black heart. Okay. But. Seven bone hearts and a black heart is actually easy to make. Because you can use... That's not right. Seven... It, yeah, it's just seven by eight pennies. And then you get seven bone hearts, and then you... Go, go to Platinum God and look it up. Platinum God... Um, bag of crafting. Select a component. We'll show you what it creates. R key. Okay. That is just wrong. Four spirit hearts, a bone heart, a penny, a bomb, a golden bomb. It, can I be real with you? Um, here's what we're gonna do, okay? That is annoying. Uh, and I genuinely... Dross too. I don't like... Uh, making... The runs take uh, three hours. I, I find it basically just frustrating. So I'm just going to do this again. Which I, I, I think, honestly, the 15 minutes to set up this setup that we have here is probably like a lot easier to do um, than crafting the R key and trying to all get it done at once. Because I feel like in your head, you're like, you know, well, if you get it all done on one run, look at all, like, the time you save. But I don't actually believe you're saving any time. I think it might take you one run, but four hours. It's 100% faster. I, I honestly believe I, I could race for it right now. I believe I, I could race you and beat you, quite frankly. You'd rather RNG with random pickups? No, I think you just, you know, start the run, first floor, create rock bottom and all that. Get yourself that engine and then just keep it going. You know, just, just run the run back and do... Uh, all you have to do, we have... Boss Rush and True Ending. Boss Rush, Hush, True Ending? I don't know, maybe. You might be right. Either way, I'm a little too lazy. <laughs> We're just gonna do... We'll do True Ending first. Yeah, that sounds right. We could do Boss Rush on this this run anyway, but we could also just do it um, with... Uh, we could do Boss Rush and Hush on the same run. We'll just start crafting some random stuff. What the? That was High Priestess.
No thank you. No thank you. <laughs> I mean, this is definitely... I'm not trying to be like super negative about Tainted Cane. Um, this is definitely like by far my least favorite part of streaming Isaac. So, uh, whether it gets done in this run or it takes like 10 runs to do it, that's fine. It's, it's the, the worst combination of, like, not only being DAE. Like, you genuinely need backseating, for the most part, I would say, to, like, to help you. But on top of that, no run is ever good enough. Like, you, you could always get people still trying to min-max you, like, even when you have a run like this, where when you just, like, point at an enemy, they die. And then on top of that, if you ever pick up a consumable, people are just like, WHAT IS WRONG WITH YOU?! Solution is just knock it out in the way that is most peaceful for you, um, best for your mental, and then uh, live your life. Look at those analytics, though. You're not wrong. Like there, this is how anti-fun I find. Uh, I find tainted cane. People are like, you know, they've been min-maxing the entire run. We get an item like almond milk, they're like pop it immediately. Nah. I'm gonna punish both of us. This we there's no no fun to be had. I'm going to replace. I might even go a step further and replace the best item. Like I might I might just go take a this dime right here and go. You know what? That's a penny now. Now that's a penny. Turn we turned almond milk into an HP upgrade, and honestly, it felt damn good. I'd do it again. Don't make me turn this run around. It doesn't matter. But I love picking up a dime here. Good for you. Thank you. It felt good to say. Like, we're at the point now. Why not? Why not? Maybe made no difference. Um, where the run is won, we can now actually banter, which is the reason that anybody is here in the first place, rather than, you know, watching the plethora of Isaac streamers who are actually, like, substantially better at the game. We don't need to worry about the, the, the bag of crafting anymore. We'll get a, we'll get an alt path victory, easily. We will then get, uh, we'll start the run over as Tainted Kane, and do, uh, the other stuff, which will be fun as well. The Isaac nerds don't like banter. I'm like... I don't know what I was gonna say there. It was gonna it was gonna be some version of don't you know who I am. So I stopped. It wasn't... It, it was more like you're here cause... For like eight years I entertained you when I didn't even know what I was doing in the game. Now I'm trying to spin you a story, and you're like, he left the golden key behind. And you're like, shut up, Tanner. I gotta stop you the small ant's first name, I think. I gotta stop using it. <laughs> He's gonna think I'm, I'm, taking, uh, I'm taking shots at him. Maybe I am, okay? Maybe I'm making enemies today. Oh, did I pop the hangman or something? I might have. Thanks for the damage upgrade. He's too busy playing Minecraft. It's fine. Uh, excuse me. I saw him uh, playing Hollow Knight. The internet's favorite game. So be careful what you wish for. Eraser. No thank you. Almond milk. Here we go. Oh, buddy in a box? Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, man. You should have seen the look on your face, man. 
You should have seen. You were so scared. You could not live with your boy. You left because I wasn't listening to your back seating. But you could not live with your boredom. And where did that bring you? Back to me. Because everyone else on your following list is playing uh, Escape from Tarkov right now. I am inevitable. Yoink. No, there's also Valorant players. We are living in, in like a 2019 um, era on Twitch right now, right? My following list went from exclusively Among Us and Repentance to uh, exclusively Valorant, Hearthstone, Battlegrounds. And... Uh, Wait, there was uh, Escape from Tarkov. Go ahead. I haven't tried uh, Hearthstone Battlegrounds. I really... Uh, that was great damage there. I, I'm never going to play it on stream. And I know you're going to be like... Never say never. I mean, I haven't played TF, uh, T in like maybe two weeks now, people were like, you're gonna submit to the addiction at some point and play on stream. Guess what, MF? Here we are playing Repentance still. <laughs> and I'm out of the game. But like, I, the reason I think is that, for one, uh, I don't know if like everybody agrees with this, but Hearthstone, old AF, and I was never very good at it to begin with, uh, and uh, definitely got salty while playing. And then, secondarily, I watch Sips play, because I like Sips. And he, he's definitely having fun with the game. Uh, when I watch him play, I have no idea what I'm looking at at all. Uh, it's super complicated, at least in appearance. Uh, and then... Admittedly, I think the culture in Sips chat is like... Everyone's there to chill and have fun, which I'm very jealous of. But I'm like, the backseating potential seems outrageous. We're good. Yeah, yeah, we're good. It, it seems like uh, not the right fit for me. That's how I feel with FTL sometimes. Uh, yeah, that's, um, you know, without getting too into the inside baseball, that's definitely, like, one of the reasons that we're playing Repentance instead of FTL right now. The first half of, like, every FTL run that I stream, I have a, a very nice time. I'm like, this is a lot of fun, we're bantering. And then there's like 70 minutes straight of just getting told what you did wrong, even if you go on to win. Which is, uh, it, it carries like a cognitive uh, uh, load associated with it, I think. So there's, uh, there's one reason. <laughs> why it was, uh, it's not yoted, but it is temporarily on the yote pile. And then, uh, when I went to the bathroom after playing Mario Kart, people were like, hey, chat, let's have, like, an argument over whether we prefer Repentance or, uh, FTL. And I'm like, how about, like, you just shut up? <laughs> Like, why, if you, if you like FTL more than Repentance, like, just, that's fine, like, it's good to know. But first off, don't be a weirdo during FTL then, and just be, like, super negative about anything, and then when, when the run wins, go pog, I knew you could do it. Uh, just, you know, be nice during the FTL portion as well. Um, but then secondarily, if you love FTL so much more than Isaac, go watch, you know, one of the FTL streamers who's live right now that probably, um, even if you behave like a piece of garbage in chat, they're not going to say anything because they'll be so grateful for the viewership. 
You know, you know, you don't have to make me fit in the square hole as a round peg. You could just, you could just go watch FTL. There's like a billion people live at all times. If you want to watch me do it, that's fine. But you gotta, you gotta work with me to help create an environment that's a little bit more, you know, conducive to like long-term mental health. Right, it's the square hole. What the heck is this egg baby, by the way? Not ghost baby, but like this. What the heck is the? It's big chungus. I think it's big chungus. Anyway, that's all I gotta say about that. It's not even like an anti-chat rant. It's just like I tell. I know you love to argue, but just like. Knock it off. I, on on Saturday, I watched Hassan do on ban requests, and it it opened my eyes. I think, because like he would have somebody in his chat that said like vile stuff in 2018, and then their on ban request was like, "I've changed. I'd love to be back in chat." And he hits them with the on ban. Makes sense to me. Then there'll be somebody in chat who just kind of has like an adversarial uh, bend to them and is constantly trying to argue with both the streamer and random chatters, and he'll hit them with a deny and be like, don't be a loser debate lord in my chat. And I was like, dude, that's, that's the kind of energy I've been missing. Oh, thanks for the bone heart. A second rock bottom? Hold on, hold on. Now we're talking. We've gone infinite? Of course it's the High Priestess. I could have told you that. Two of spades. Hold on. Pick this up. So censoring any opinion that's different from your own? See, that would be a great... I'm glad you used that as an example. I know that you were not being sincere. A lot of people in chat, you got to be careful. They would think you, that you were being a sincere, like, salty weirdo about that comment. But I know you're just doing it to demonstrate the sort of comment that in the future would probably get you trunked. So I appreciate having an example like that to use as like a flashpoint. I think for everybody to understand is good. That's great intel. Don't use the stars question mark card. Oh my god. As when you have rock bottom. This is where you gotta puzzle it out for yourself, okay? Why? I'm using my brain. Why wouldn't you want to use the stars question mark card when you have... Rock bottom. Rock bottom means your stats can't decay. A question mark stars card. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. A question mark stars card. Thank you to Luke's incredible website. A question mark stars card. Makes it. Have you come up with the answer? I'm learning. Removes your oldest item and spawns two pedestals. That's, yeah, okay, that makes a lot of sense. That's really bad. <laughs> that is that is not a complicated interaction. It's just a very, very sensible interaction. Oldest item is rotten meat, though. Yeah, but you can get more than one uh, stars question mark card. We're going down. Yeah, 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 yeah why not? Why not? Going down. The run is so good, oh my god. <clears throat> so why not just use it only once? Swerve your car over the center line if there's no cars coming in the other direction. There's not even a tractor trailer that would come and hit you and crush you and turn you into a freaking sardine inside of a can. There's no punishment for it. So, I mean, yeah, in some situations, it would probably be a bad situation to do it. But in this one, 
You can you can look at your cell phone while driving as long as there's no danger. You get the benefit of looking at your phone, seeing if somebody made a funny tweet or something like that, and as long as you don't crash, you got the advantage out of it. I got kind of scared. I didn't expect my clap to be so loud. I apologize. Okay, hold on. We... Item room. There is a shop. There is a shop. Arctech one. Thanks for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. Felt like my dad got mad at me. Yes. <laughs> no, I'm not. I don't channel Hassan's energy on stream too much. That being said, I think there's some situations where it's worth channeling. Um, Tainted Kane is kind of like. He's like a one. Well, he's like an eight-off character. He's not a one-off character. But uh, once once this guy's done, we can start the banter again. And instead of there being like, you know, 5,000 people that are like, you know, if you picked up that golden bomb, you could have crafted an item that gives you a plus two range. Uh, we'll get, you know, there'll be like six of those people. Everybody else will just be like streamers wrong. Which is kind of how I like, I prefer to have it. Hold on, hold on. Yoink. You had the gold bomb though? Something, something, head on, head on traffic. Uh, there's no problem with it if there's no car coming in the other direction. I don't know, it's, there's like a self-fulfilling prophecy for sure of, uh, of playing as Tainted Cain. I, I recognize my role in it. It's like oil and vinegar, man. It doesn't mix, but that's what makes it taste so good on a salad. Please? Let's go. That's gonna make a nice item. I, I'm very excited for when that makes mom's heels. Yeah, I don't know why the battery sprite is so freaking huge. What else goes in the salad dressing? Come on, it's oil. You know, dude, I'm, I'm not gonna write your whole salad recipe for you, okay? You know how it goes. It's oil and vinegar, a little bit of garlic, a little bit of lemon juice. Grind some fresh black pepper in there. Shake it up a little bit. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna put it, uh, you're gonna put the dressing in a mixing bowl and you're gonna mix it a little bit further, but you're not going to put the salad greens into that bowl yet. You're gonna wait until it's ready to serve your, your other food and then you're gonna put the salad greens in there, mix them up, and then you're gonna plate them immediately so they're not sitting in that uh, like acid all that time is gonna make it taste like you're eating spinach that's been coated in like lemonade. I don't even want to see the deal with the devil. Get it, get it out of my face. Not gonna write you a salad recipe. You just go now. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god, dude, it's so good. A little parmesan on the salad really helps the dressing stick too. I gotta tell you, like, Parmesan cheese, like a actual Parmesan, Parmigiano Reggiano, is expensive, but it's simultaneously, like, also one of the most cost-effective cheeses you can get. I got a little triangular block of it. It was probably 15 to $20. Pretty expensive for a block of cheese. I use it not sparingly. I use it to my heart's content on anything I make where it's appropriate. It's not, it's probably a third done. And I've, I've cooked pasta alone, like at least five or six times since getting it. It's not I, like, I was starting to think about just putting it on weird stuff just because I got some to spare right now. Like I was like, last night after I made the, the, the Galbi rice bowl. I said to myself, like, maybe I'll just 
grate some Parmesan on this just to see. Just to see if maybe it hits the spot. I don't expect that it would, but let's... I mean, smoke them if you got them, right? Dead damage. This, it, the most deserved VIP of all time. <laughs> it's like... Is it actually so disgustingly good? You're welcome. You, I, I don't recall saying thank you. I, <laughs> I believe I said the, the most deserved VIP of all time. I don't think I... I don't think I made myself subservient to you by giving you my thanks, but... Uh, I did, by the way. I, I finished Seth Rogen's yearbook. Uh, and I, I tweeted him. Not that I expect him to ever uh, reply. But I tweeted him and said, Hey, I enjoyed your book. Great job. Because I, I was walking... It's probably like last Friday. I was walking and the, like the end of the book is a, uh, a story about how he went on a hiking trip when he was like 13 with his religious camp and they got stuck on the Wanda Fuca Trail in uh, Vancouver Island and like a lady, or one of his fellow campers fell down the, like a, a, a ravine and broke her ankle and then it turned into like a, a national emergency and I was laughing my ass off. I was like, this is hilarious. I will never send my child to, to camp. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, send it. Oh my god, the damage. Gosh, this game is gross, chat. Sips, have you been here for a while? Because I, I was just... I, I was complimenting you and your chat environment. I was insulting the game that you play a little bit. But I made sure to couch it in the idea that, like... I'm not a big Hearthstone guy, but I, do, I have been watching Sips play a little Battlegrounds. Isaac. Lucky Sack has appeared in the basement. Okay, so that's a big one. We're gonna slash marker this. Yeah, Sips, any news? Any news? Slash marker. Tainted Kane 1. 